For me as a professional speaker, you know, uh, there's a lot of similarities between that and being in the real estate space because, you know, when the economy is booming, more people hire speakers. When the economy's not, less people hire speakers. So on some level, my business is also at the mercy of the way, you know, of the economy. But I can't focus on that. I need to stick to my process and I need to do what I do regardless of the things uh, that I don't have control of. All of those feelings and emotions that people are experiencing, the loneliness, the self-doubt, the imposter syndrome, the lack of confidence, the feeling of overwhelm, you know, all of that stuff is completely normal. You know, all that means if you're feeling those things is that you are human and you are part of the human condition. And we have all of those emotions and feelings for a reason. And, and for me, a, a perspective shift that I had a few years ago that I found really helpful is doing the best I can um, to not label any emotion or feeling as good or bad. You know, they're all inherently neutral. Every feeling and emotion that we experience, whether it's joy and bliss and elation, or whether it's fear and jealousy and overwhelm, we have those emotions for a reason. They're, they're basically just a signal to us what's going on in the world uh, as we try to navigate our lives. So the first thing you need to do is just give yourself some grace and space and some compassion and remind yourself that it is okay to feel those things. Uh, that means you're human. And, and I have worked with the highest performers in basketball and business and everyone in between. And even the highest performers in the world experience those exact same feelings and emotions. Now, what we need to be able to do is once we acknowledge that we have those feelings, is we need to make sure we're taking control of our actions and our behaviors. So every single emotion is okay but every single behavior and action is not necessarily okay. So we need to make sure that we remind ourselves that, that emotions are just information, they're not directives. They're designed to remind us, give us kind of red flags of what's going on in our lives, but they don't have to steer us in any direction. So the, the simplest way to say that is, it's okay to be frustrated or disappointed with you know, interest rates at present, but it's not okay to allow that to affect how you interact with your clients or how you know how you show up in the world so we need to make sure we separate those two um, and once we can start looking at ourselves through the lens of compassion and grace uh, then we can start to develop you know a relentless process on how we can actually move things forward and you know uh, another perspective that has really helped me is always making sure I understand the difference between what things I have control over and what things I don't and I do the best I can to spend the vast majority of my time, energy, and effort focused on the things I do have control over. And in essence, it really boils down to two, and that's my effort and my attitude. But there are certainly some offshoots of that that I have control over, you know. I'm in control of how prepared I am in any situation. I'm in control of my enthusiasm, you know. So there's, there's other areas that we have control over. Um, interest rates, uh, an election year, you know, the, the economy in general. Um, we have zero control over those things. So any time, energy, or effort, we, and I'll actually use this word very specifically, waste on things that we don't have control over means we don't have that energy to direct towards the things that we do. And I actually uh, find it very liberating and therapeutic and empowering to put my focus on the things I have control over. So for me as a professional speaker, you know, uh, there's a lot of similarities between that and being in the real estate space because, you know, when the economy is booming, more people hire speakers. When the economy's not, less people hire speakers. So on some level, my business is also at the mercy of the way, you know, of the economy. But I can't focus on that. I need to stick to my process and I need to do what I do regardless of the things uh, that I don't have control over. So to me, it's all about taking that power back. So step one is being kind to yourself and compassionate. Step two is focusing on the things that you have control over and your processes and your outbound you know, uh, sales calls and reach and the things that you're doing. So those are two initial steps that start creating the momentum and then we'll have some additional steps to continue that process.